You're watching the CBS 58 News at 4. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first-degree intentional homicide as charged in count one of the information. Dated this 26th day of October 2022, signed by the four-person, juror number 11. A jury finds Daryl Brooks guilty on all 76 counts in the Waukesha Christmas Parade attack, including six counts of first degree intentional homicide. Thank you for joining us today at four. It took the jury just under three hours of deliberations to reach their verdict. Court reconvened just before 11 a.m. when Waukesha judge Jennifer Doro read the verdict for each count. As we mentioned, Brooks was found guilty on all 76 charges, including six counts of first degree intentional homicide with the use of a dangerous weapon. He was also found guilty of 61 counts of first degree recklessly endangering safety with the use of a dangerous weapon, six counts of a hit and run involving death and two counts of felony bail jumping, one count of battery with domestic abuse. He faces six consecutive life sentences plus 859 years of confinement. We have live team coverage in Waukesha covering all angles of the verdict, including reaction from the state and people who witnessed the horrific rampage. We begin with CBS 58's Gabriella Becerra. She breaks down the guilty verdict and everything that happened inside that courtroom today. Gabby, what was the reaction like? Well, Mike and Amanda, there was a very anxious feeling in the courtroom this morning as they awaited that guilty verdict, followed by a moment of relief from victims and their loved ones in the gallery. Mr. Brooks, are you satisfied with the pulling of the jurors? No. I'm sorry? No. The court is so satisfied. The court now accepts the verdicts. Daryl Brooks bowed his head and covered his face as Judge Jennifer Doro read the 76 guilty verdicts. Behind him, tears and emotion from people waiting for justice in the gallery. District Attorney Sue Opper says the prosecution team is satisfied with what she calls a fair verdict. After 18 days of trial and months of preparation, Opper says she was confident in the facts and evidence found in the investigation. The hardest part of it all was anticipating what Brooks would do next. We knew Again, from the point when Mr. Brooks chose to represent himself, this was going to be a marathon. We talked about that many times as a team, that um, we just need to keep moving forward every day, whatever that looked like. And attorney Opper tells me this is her longest trial and biggest case when it comes to charges, but it's not over yet. They'll return on Monday to schedule a sentencing alongside attorney Opper. Today were some of the victims and victim family members and my colleague reporter Victor Okobo joins us now with their reaction. Yeah, Gabby, at the heart of this entire process were the victims and their families. At today's press conference, some of them got to express gratitude to those who helped them reach this point. Following the trial's verdict, a feeling of triumph for those who suffered loss from the tragedy nearly one year ago. Justice was served for my wife, Virginia Sorensen. The family of dancing granny, Ginny Sorensen, says she was present in spirit for the culmination of the trial. My five-year-old daughter came up to me and, and hand me... Hand me handed me this necklace with my mom's ashes in it, and she told me to take my mom with us for the sentencing. So she was with us today. Survivors said the idea of Waukesha Strong was exemplified in reaching a guilty verdict. We're stronger than him, and it's been proven today. Um, it's just another step forward in the process. Victims and their families also expressed gratitude to first responders, community members, and the district attorney's office that achieved justice. It's, it's been amazing to see how wonderful this community has been to pull together for all of those who were hurt that night. And for the entire Waukesha community, a message of unity and solidarity. And turn on those blue lights tonight. And keep those blue lights on tonight. Now, the victims in this case will have another opportunity to speak directly to the convicted Daryl Brooks. On Monday, the court will reconvene for a scheduling hearing to find out who and how many people will want to speak at a sentencing hearing that will happen in the future. Uh, again, set for Monday afternoon. For now, reporting in Waukesha, Victor Jacobo, CBS 58 News. I'll send it back to you in studio. Victor, thank you very much. Emotional reaction to today's guilty verdicts. Our own CBS 58 Nukari Nakayama caught that raw emotion from Waukesha community members outside of the courthouse. Nukari, tell us more. 
That's right, Amanda. As people were rolling out from the courthouse, they were cheering and saying that justice has been served. Each person that we spoke to today had a direct connection to that tragedy. We're just happy that the verdict came in guilty on everything. Justice has been served. I'm thankful. Emotions running high. Many friends of family who have lost someone to the Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy were present at court today as Daryl Brooks was found guilty on all 76 counts. It was a brief moment of relief, but then all the pain comes back. All the pain comes back. Yes, there's a little closure, but not much because we have to go through our daily lives not being around the ones that we care about. Lori Hoagland says she lost three of her friends, Tamara Duran, Jane Coolidge and Jackson Sparks. Community members say the courtroom was so packed that some listened to the verdicts from the hallway, describing those moments as tense. People like Troy Burke says he relived that terrifying day. I've lived here my whole whole life and um, I, I was there the day it happened and um, it was uh, a horrible tragedy and um, I just wanted to be here to support the community and um, and see this through and uh, the judge did a great job and um, I just needed closure I guess. Now those community members say that now the Waukesha community can focus on healing. Back to you guys in the studio. Yukari, thank you. In addition to the victims and their families, this has been a long process for elected officials and first responders in the Waukesha area. CBS 58's Adam Reif continues our team coverage after getting a reaction from the police chief and Waukesha's mayor. Adam. Well, Mike, it was nearly a year ago that Waukesha Police Chief Dan Thompson choked up as he described that parade scene after Daryl Brooks drove through. For the past 11 months, Chief Thompson, his officers, firefighters, and first responders have all had to relive those memories. Today, the chief said this verdict was just and right. That defendant's actions did not define this great community. It refined us in our resolve and our strength in and being Waukesha strong. Police Chief Dan Thompson says there are now two days the city of Waukesha will never forget. November 21st, the day of the parade, and October 26th, when justice was served. Wednesday, he thanked the community and praised the resiliency of the families that were impacted. Waukesha Mayor Sean Riley also reacted to the verdict with a statement saying the trial has forced many people to relive the trauma of that day. But he added, despite difficult circumstances, the city has shown the world how wonderful it is. The statement went on to read, quote, as a community, we still have a long road ahead filled with difficult days. This will be especially true as we approach the one year anniversary of the tragedy. However, as we have experienced the past year, we know that when we stand together, we remain Waukesha strong. We also spoke with attorney Paul Booker about the verdict. He served as the Waukesha County District Attorney for many years. Booker has extensive experience working with victims and said this case has taken a significant toll. I don't like to use the word closure all that much because I don't think this is closure for the families. It gives them some finality to the justice system. But closure will never happen for those families that have lost their uh, loved ones. Now, Paul Booker also told me because Daryl Brooks was a pro se defendant representing himself, this case will likely be studied for years and go down in history. Live in Waukesha, Adam Reif, CBS 58 News. Adam, thank you. We will continue to cover all angles of the guilty verdict in the Daryl Brooks case, including what happens next. You can catch the latest news, reaction and analysis on our website at CBS58.com.